Thank you, Ms. Mr. Deputy Speaker. And this coming Saturday, the community of Copacabana is invited to a morning tea at 11 o'clock at the Alagai Bay Cafe to discuss local issues and hear updates on some major election commitments. For instance, we're installing new and upgraded CCTV cameras at Copa yeah, yeah. as part of the coalition government's Safer Streets program. The rollout includes cameras at Del Monte Place near the shops, two cameras at the skate park and one at Captain Cook Lookout. With the support of our hard-working local police, the community and the Central Coast Council, work on installing the cameras is expected to start by April next year. We'll also talk about our $3.8 million investment to upgrade Oceano Street, which is riddled with potholes and needs fixing. And we'll tackle an issue that's been brought to my attention on Facebook this week, the campaign to bring back Chantel. It started when Nav Davis reached out to me with a story about how he and his mates at Copa made a wooden bench that they liked to sit on and chew the fat together, a bench made, in his own words, with their blood, sweat and tears. They called their favourite homemade bench Chantel. But now, in news that sent shockwaves through the youth in this beachside suburb, Chantel is believed to be missing. Police have made some inquiries on their behalf, but there are no leads at this early stage. The Express Advocate newspaper has now jumped on board, so if you know where Chantel might be, come to my community morning tea and help us bring back Chantel. <laughs> the Honourable Member for Macquarie. This is